Well, good morning, my friend. It's Mae Larson here with Crafting on a Budget with Baby Emma. And we're going to be having our morning coffee together. And we're also going to be creating some shabby chic flowers and bows. Now, I also want to take a few minutes and remind you that this coming Saturday, August the 3rd at 3 p.m. Central, which is 4 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, we're going to be having our first craft sale and remember that this is something that we're doing now for baby Emma to be able to provide a safe environment for her so she's not having to go to daycare and Carla's not having to stress out about finances and things like that so in our first craft event we're going to be selling some laces this is going to be one of the laces that we're going to be selling um, it's a beautiful lace and I've made some cute little bows this is another of the laces that we're going to be selling. So you'll have to come out and grab some of these beautiful laces that Carla has purchased. And I'm just making some beautiful bows. Um, this one here, of course, this is not one of the laces. This is just um, some chiffon fabric that I've made into a flower. Back in the day, it is something that I love making. And I am going to be showing you guys how to create these cute bows, but also this is one of the laces that we will be selling. Now, when we do go out looking for laces, I like to look for laces that are versatile. Um, and so this one has a little bit of a frame effect going on. And I like about, that's what I like about it because once you start, see that? It gives it character. I don't know if you can see the frame. Um, there you go. You Threads, it gives it character when you, you have the frame um, and it has that shabby chic appearance so I have taken a piece of this lace that we're going to be selling this coming lace uh, sorry this coming Saturday at 3 p.m. Um, it's 24 inches I've taken a, my needle and thread I've done what's called a whip stitch typically you do a running stitch but I like to do a whip stitch because it's a lot quicker. So if you watched me before, years ago when I would do a lot of my shabby chic flowers, I will always did a whip stitch. So let's see what we were talking about. And I like to use bigger needles because it also helps me when I'm doing this, especially if you have arthritis, it just makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. So good. So what are you gonna need? So we're gonna need a needle and thread for our shabby chic flowers like this. For the bows, I've used Fabri-Tac. You can use embellishments, as you can see here. You can use buttons. I love buttons. You will need like some type of thick um, crocheting thread or um, upholstery thread. I also like to use these little rubber bands. They're actually for hair, and you can purchase these at Dollar Tree. Um, they're really good for tying up when you don't want to sew too much. I have my hot glue going on. I have my scissors. Um, so let's get rocking and rolling and creating. So as I said, I started with my whip stitch. As you can see, I started to gather it. So basically a whip stitch, you're going to take your needle and you're going to insert it and I go in the back see that I go to the back and I whip it see my oops sorry off camera so here's my needle I'm gonna go in the back of my lace there's the needle coming out I'm gonna whip it to the back so it's like whip it there we go whip it to the back whip it to the back so it starts to gather and it makes it so much easier than doing a running stitch so whip it to the back and again I love the fact that this trim um, or lace has that frame because it also gives that nice little cute uniqueness to it so there we go and like I had mentioned before this particular lace I cut it at 24 inches um, and then I'm just gonna pull and start gathering All right. and then you're left with something like this now you can take some um, felt make cut out some felt circles um, we're just doing something quick 
easy it's just to show you what you can do with the lace that we're going to be selling this coming weekend um, to kind of give you an idea of what is expected we do have some sari as well um, we've been thrifting and we're able to find some sari here uh, where we live and so we have some not too many but we do have some sari dresses so just stay tuned for that um, so we're going to be selling it as a whole not as individual little applique pieces all right so now once we've gathered it i'm going to grab both ends and let's grab those two together pull it as tight as i can and you'll have a cute little circle like that Grab them two together, make sure they're together well. Holding them, pull. Grab your needle and then just sew it together. Another way I like doing my flowers is with a fork. Um, we'll do that. We're going to start doing a little bit more of the shabby chic uh, feel. I do love my grunge, love my Tim Holtz. I am an absolutely grungy kind of girl, but I like to throw grunge with shabby chic. So um, just stay tuned for a lot of that. And because we have baby Emma, we like to do a little bows and things like that for baby Emma. So not to say that some of these that are here will go, probably these will be for her hair, but see how cute, this will be so cute in a little um, journal. If you have your journals, of course, we all have journals, right? Um, but in hair accessories as well. So we're probably going to be using something like this um, on her, but not this particular, maybe um, because I have a journal that I'm going to be working and we're going to, well, actually, we're going to work on that together. And it's going to be bringing back something from the past. I won't say too much about it, but there will be a little template for it. And make sure you join our Facebook group. Look at all the frame. Isn't that just beautiful? I love it. I love that I didn't have to do too much to it because all the frame, typically we go around and we fray those edges, but look how easy that is. It's like an organza kind, and it just makes it so much easy. I love it absolutely love it so with this what we can do and what I like to do often is I grab a piece of yarn this uh, eyelash yarn and you can roll it up in your finger and you can dab it right there in the center um, that piece is a little bit too big but I'm gonna go ahead and I don't need such a this is probably about three inches roll it make a little wad Stick it in the center if you want, just like so. Give it more fray. And we'll find a bling. Now this bling, I did grab it from Tam Timu. I don't really care for it because it's plastic. It's not what I'm typically used to, but I did order the right ones this time. Um, we've gone ahead. Sometimes, you know, cheap is not the best. Um, I thought I was getting a good deal, and I thought it was the metal ones because the metal tends to stick better than the plastic. Right, I'm going to stick that there like so. And y'all remember my pink little finger that I used to have? Well, we still have that little pink finger. Um, so we're going to use my pink finger. Dab that in the center like so. And you can add pearls here. Um, I'm going to grab this here that I have. I'm going to grab what I have. Um, but you're going to add pearls in the center. Um, you know, go wild with this. Let's bring Shabby back. Uh, I was looking at my Facebook, um, you know, remember those little things that pop up. And I saw some of my Shabby projects and I'm like, you know what? Let's bring Shabby back. Let's bring Shabby back. We need Shabby back. So we're going to bring Shabby back. All right. And I used to do a lot of these, like when I would do hair accessories for Brianna and Carla and um, for a lot of my projects, actually. So isn't that cute? And I love the fray. It just gives it a cute look. All right. So you're probably wondering, okay, what are you going to do with that piece? So this is what we're going to do. 
do for that piece. So we have a three inch and a six inch. All right, what we're gonna do, and then I have this little piece that I cut, probably about a quarter inch, um, maybe two inches, but it's just gonna be the center piece. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn them right side in like that. We're gonna take a bead of our fabric tack, and I have this little silicone mat um, that I purchased at Dollar Tree, kind of helps a little. I'm gonna lay it there, my right sides are in. Um, facing me and I'm just going to put a dab of glue straight across. You can use hot glue but in this particular um, I would rather use the Fabri-Tac. I'm going to take my little finger or you can use your little makeup brushes from Dollar Tree. They're silicone tip. Um, let us sit there for a bit. Um, the thing about the, the hot glue is that it gets a little bit more clumpy. It comes off a little bit easier, um, and we don't want that. Okay, right side up. Again, we're going to go straight across. Okay, and press down. Stab on that. That was a remnant piece that I grabbed. All right, grab a sip of my coffee. Okay, quick and easy. Shabby chic. Gotta bring shabby chic in. All right, let's let that sit a little bit longer. Let's grab this one. This one should be almost. It does take a little bit longer for the fabric tack to dry up, um, but I do like it. So I'm going to trim. Let's grab my little waist here. And I see a little scrap of something I have laying here. So we might use that. All right. So see that? We have a little like a quarter inch seam allowance there. Um, we're going to flip it in like so. Make sure you... And it's, if it's still wet, go ahead and kind of lay it flat. The little seam. Just press it in with your finger. Mine is still a little sticky. And then just lay it down like that. Kind of figure out your center, right? And then I'm just going to gather it with my hands like so. I'm scrunching in like that, right? And then we're going to grab some of this um, crocheting thread. I'm going to wrap it a couple times and you and I like to put this in um, you can use the little rubber band and I try to do both just to secure it and then we're left with that right I'm sure why that piece of thread is a little loose. So let's figure that one out. If you're tying it, it shouldn't be loose. All right, let's figure this out because we have a loose thread here and I'm not sure why. The hardest thing for me is um, gripping onto things 
There you go. It must have gotten stuck with the glue. That's what it was. It was still wet. Um, gripping things, especially since I injured that finger. I noticed it's a lot harder to to grip. So still trying to get over um, the whole thing of my finger. It's taken months. I lost three. There we go. And the glue was still a little bit wet. So that kind of made it that way. All right. So see, as I, I can't grab too well with that hand. Um, yeah. Go ahead and kind of make sure it's centered. Stretch it out like so. I love that. That trim is so pretty. I want to do the trim, that trim, um, in a flower because I think it's so pretty. All right, we'll do that. And I'm going to go ahead and also grab this just as added security um, because we're going to add this one on top. We're going to flip this one around. Now these little silicone mats, if you can go to Dollar Tree and grab them and they still have them, I say get them because it makes it so much easier when you're doing things like these kind of projects. Um, all right, this one's... Throw this one down now. This one was the remnant piece. All right. Flatten it out where that little seam is flattened. Okay, now gather it in the center now because it's a lot smaller. Remember, this is a three inch. Um, you can grab your little rubber band if you want. Give it a couple twist here. Now I use the rubber band um, again because it's quicker for me actually but if you don't want to use the rubber band like I said you can use your thread so I gave you two options so then we're gonna put this on top um, and we're gonna go real light so it's so cute this will be cute on a headband for baby Emma but it also would look cute and I'm just gonna twist that thread um, that was already there it will also look cute on a journal and we do have a journal like I said so you guys have to come back to my channel and check the upcoming videos because I'm going to be doing a journal and it's a flash from the past um, there's going to be fabric in it so just stay tuned it is going to be shabby for those of you guys that love shabby alright so we got that right we tied it together um, at this point, you can add, you can even add laces. Let me grab another piece of lace over here that I have. You can add, let's see. You can add vintage laces. Like I got this little vintage lace here. And I can throw it in the center, even though it's different, but I'm not entirely different. Let's grab this one, yeah. my side. We gotta go get ready to pick up baby Emma so we can even do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this because we're done here. Um doesn't look like that. That's my front here. Okay. And we can we can do one or two good. We can do a knot, which I used to do love doing that. Um, but let's go ahead and grab this piece. I'm gonna go ahead, grab that little tiny piece and show you. So what I do is I go into the back because I want to cover that because this is just gonna go on a journal. Now if I was gonna do it on a headband, I'll do it different, but put that there. Grab my hot glue, put a bead there in the center. 
wrap to the front wrap it there and because it's you know lace I don't have to put too much glue because it kind of seeps through the lace so just a little bit of glue now what I can do I could do a little rosebud like twist it like that and then maybe let's put it in the center you can do it that way and that would be cute as well um, so that's an idea like a little rosebud it's a little bit different um, that's an idea let's see I like the difference in the variation of this one let's see if I grab a piece of this same lace maybe I don't want to grab this one too much mm, that's going to be that's a little too wide let's see let's see oh, we, this is another lace that we have so maybe this one will work that we have for sale coming up Saturday oh I like that one yeah we're gonna go with that one in the center so basically just make a knot so this is another one we're gonna be having for sale so I'm gonna go ahead and make a knot at the end and kind of make a little bud and squinch it up like that and then something like that. Isn't that cute? That's cute. We're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. Stick some glue in the middle. Take my little rosebud. Pop it in the center. Bring it to the back. I'm going to turn this here. kind of kept all the remnants and I'm like you know what we're keeping those because I'm going to make some flowers out of it. I'm going to bring this to the back, grab my glue, and I'm going to have to trim that piece because that's a little too long. Bring this one to Alright. There we go. I do, even though I have this little waste basket here, I will pick through these and use those for um, shabby sheet flowers as well so let's fluff that up and there you have it a really cute bow I love that and that cute that'll look stinking adorable in a journal on the tag as a hair accessories I love it Let me fluff it up a little and that cute absolutely cute stunning all right so we didn't use this one but we will let's grab that because that's a flower all right so the next one we're going to go ahead and make a flower out of this one here um, again this is another one of the trims that we're going to be selling i'm going to do a quick running stitch so this one here it's 12 inches uh let's see so it's 18 inches long Let's grab needle and thread. I already have one here ready to go because we were ready for you. All right, so let's do a whip stitch. Stick your needle in. I'm going to do it a couple times just to kind of get it to grip. Oops. Lock that stitch in place. All right, let's do a whip stitch. All right, needle to the back whip it back notice that it's about maybe a half inch spacing is what I'm doing
cute little bows for your little grandbaby, your journals, your tags, whatever you want to make. Um, gosh, we used to do so many of these back in the day. Flash from the back. May's making some shabby chic. Okay. Um, so quick and easy shabby chic flowers. Now, another way you could have done that is you can scrunch this up on a fork. We'll have to do another series of flowers. You know, it's just a flower series. Different variations of flowers using scraps. Oh, I love making flowers with scraps. Okay. Gather it up. Now let's grab one end. Find the other end. Put them together like so. Let's get my needle out of the way. There's the end. Grab those two ends together before we lock it in place. I like to grab them together like little bunny ears. Grab and pull your thread. Kind of gather it up. You don't want to pull too tight because you don't want to break your thread after you've done so much work. But just kind of grab it and then and again, let's stick it through and pull it in. And I know you guys know how to do this, but for those of you guys that are new to my channel, and if you are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um, leave a comment below. Let me know that you're new to my channel. I would love to greet you and say hello and welcome you to my channel and to the family. And if you are new, we do have a Facebook group. It is a safe place for us to share pictures and videos of baby Emma. Um, so definitely no drama there. Um, so we welcome you to our group on Facebook, Crafting on a Budget with Baby Emma. Um, and we'll welcome you there with open arms. Okay, so there we go. You have a piece of felt. You can lay that little piece of felt in the back. But look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Then we can put this here if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not, well, we can probably twist it this way. I'm not entirely sure I want that. But maybe like so. No, it's all right. Like that. Oh, that's cute. Okay, well, so definitely. We'll keep it. We'll keep it. Um, get that there. I have this other yarn. I love yarn. See that? I love random yarns. Um, use that. You can, uh, let's see. Let's grab this. I just make little random circles and such. We can also grab some of the scraps that I had here. Throw it in the center there. Notice I haven't, oops, got stuck in my nail. Like that. What else we have here? We got another little. I like this one. It's the same yarn. It's just a little thicker. It's been stuck on my nail. And stick those in the center there. We got another summer here, and I'm just gonna put a big old glob of glue here. Once I figured out what we're doing. All right, let's move all this in. Glob of glue. Let's use our little pink finger. Came back from retirement. Let's grab. This brings me back to the days of, like, even when um, Miss Judy Dominguez, a great friend, shoddy, we would all make all these cute, cute, crafty 
shabby chic projects. So many wonderful memories. So many. So many wonderful friends and I'm so excited that a lot of my friends get to share the adventures of me being a grandma now. I would have never, not that I never, ex, you know, thought I could be a grandma, but I didn't think my kid would do that. <laughs> you know, oh, well, that would be cute. We're going to stick that one right there in the center. We could add buttons too. Let's see what a button will look like. Rose. Oh, that would be stunning there. Might get a little lost there. Let's see. Maybe we can lay it on top. off but I do I don't know maybe yeah we're gonna go with that pink button and then stick it in the center like so and then we'll stick this one here in the center is stinking adorable. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, so that's two bows, two little flowers using some of the trim that we're going to be selling this coming weekend. I hope you guys come and join us for the sale. Um, I, like I said, we got, even this would be cute as a little, you know, quick flower as well. That would be adorable. But just make sure you come and join us this coming uh, Saturday at 3 p.m. Central, 4 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be having some of these laces that I have displayed here and so much more. Until next time, guys. Bye.